What's going on guys? It's your boy here, Glistic, back with another video. And today, what we're gonna be making is a server info command in discord.py. So, I just wanna say before the video starts here, be sure to join my discord, it's a pretty fun place, you know, it's chill and everything, by the way, don't worry about this here. My mod, <laughs> don't worry about it, just... Yeah, but anyways, let's get on with the video. So, I'm gonna be using Sublime, you can use Visual Studio Code or if you'd like. This is just so it's easier on my computer as a whole. But basically, what we want to do is we can find any place to do this, right? So, say, let's do it here. Alright, great. So, we just want to start off with the client.command, right? As we do, and we can do async dev server info. Server info. Info like so. And all we're going to be passing in the CTX. Now, we can do role underscore count. So this will find how many rows there are. It goes len and so length and then ctx.guild dot rows. Ctx dot guild dot rows. Then we can do list underscore of underscore bots. And then put a bracket around this saying bot dot mention. So we'll like ping them kind of for bot. So this is like a small for loop in here. And uh ctx dot guild dot members if bot dot bot so what this will do is this will just go through here mm -hmm. this will go through how many members we have and then it will just find okay yo this is a bot so yeah and then it'll put into the variable basically and now we can create an embed so it's called a server info embed equals discord dot embed and yeah so then we can do timestamp or we can put in a timestamp if you want you can do this but yeah see text on message message here we go dot created underscore at so this will just get when the message was created and then we can do color so color equals ctx.author.color this is optional again but yeah now we can do server info embed dot add underscore field and then boom and then we're gonna set a name to name right so this will get us the server name and then the value will be we want to f string this like so and then we can just do ctx dot guild dot name and then do inline this is just how i want it you can change this up however you like you can mess around with this but i'm gonna keep inline equals false and now we can copy and paste this a bunch of times. Oh wow, I did not do that correctly. <coughs> Just copy the code, not the indent. Okay, yeah, this should be good. Add a couple more. We might not use them. If we don't, we, I'll just delete it. But then we can do another one, so number of members. Or we can just, yeah, number of members. Or member count. Let's keep it at that. And then this will be equal to um, oh sorry yeah so this will be equal to value equals value will be equal to ctx dot guild so I backed out there I guess member underscore count like that then we can do verification level so this is basically um basically i'll show you um hold up so if you go to my discord here my verification level is i think in modern right um mine's medium you could set this to whatever you'd like and it'll just say if it's high medium low anything like that and i have skin everybody's content just so you know we don't get no sus people inside uh yeah so that's equal to this and then if we do the verification level 
want this to be a string. What, what, what did I do? I don't know what I did. Oh wow, this is hard to type now. Oh no, Sublime's weird. I haven't really messed around with it that much. But we can do ctx.guild. And then we can do the verification. Verification, here we go. Hold up, is this correct? Nap, uh, I require an eye. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. I'm just gonna grab it from here. The whole thing. Because I do not want to write this out. Oh, wow. Okay, hold up. I'll be back after I fix this. Okay, so I got it. Just I'll copy that right here. And then... Yeah, uh, I don't know what really happened there. It was really weird. But now, what you want to do is we're going to look at the highest roll. Highest roll. And this is really weird. So I'm just going to take out the whole thing and then start over. We can do server info embed dot add field. And then name equals highest roll. Wow. There we go. And then add a comma. And then have value equals. Now you can keep this. You can set the value to anything. I guess. Um, but I'm going to just set it to. Uh, say text dot. Hold up, I should have done this. Sorry for all the errors. Um, ctx.guild. Dot. Um. Dot guild rules. Rules. And then. Minus two. And. Yeah. Inline equals false. There we go. So, yeah. Now, let's go on to the next one. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got my uh, cursor back. Now it's a lot easier. Uh, actually, what I had to do is I had to just get rid of. I had to restart. Uh, Sublime. Really annoying, actually. But you know, it's okay. Yeah. So hold up, I'm just clear. I'm messing around with my notes. But anyways, yeah. Let's get into the number of rules. Now we can do number of rules, and this will just return how many rules there are on your server. So, uh, we want to get this here, and it's going to be str, and inside that string is going to be roll underscore count, and this is what we grab from here. Pretty simple. And, yeah. So, we can actually add, yeah, so, now, now that we have that, we want to add how many bots there are, right, so, the bots... And then this will just show how many bots there are actually in the server. So I want to get rid of this. And then for that, we're just going to do... It's going to be separated every time by a comma. And then dot joined by list of underscore bots. Like so. It's pretty epic. And yeah, so this is actually going to be it. This is what we really want. We don't. If you want to add more, you can. Right, just search up on the Discord API. That's where I got all my information from. But now we can just do. Ct. Oh wait. Oh wait. My bad. Ctx. Channel. Sorry. Ctx. Send. And you want to embed equals. Server info embed. And yeah. So if we go to project here and then click build if you're on visual studio code click the arrow and if you're on repel click that thick run button and i think it's running no it's not it's actually because i swapped out my token i'll swap it back for real quick okay so i got it online um and if i actually just switch over here to sorry i went to my display but yeah so if we do d ping just to check if it's online and yes it is you can do server info and it returns as an error so let me check that real quick 
okay so as you guys can see i actually got it all working uh this is like what about yes here we go it's cleared and if we go into our text editor here it says Jerome is online i had a couple of errors so it said guild no it was like this i just changed it and for a couple of them and then i had name twice so i just got rid of that too because i had an extra one but if we go back to our discord here and you guys kind of saw a sneak peek of it so if we do server info and this is just a basic one you can add like uh, as a thing you can add the server uh profile pic you can do a lot more with this actually but as you guys can see i have all the bots that i have here and then it has my the server name member count and i think i put name again i guess so yeah you can get rid of that but you guys basically see how it is uh, 44 rows on the highest row which is owner here we go kind of is so yeah uh if you look this is you can take this one step further which i did with my choke name right here and if i do here i have actually more and it even has the profile picture so yeah you can just take this one step further like have your creative creativity unleashed basically do whatever you want this command but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to hit subscribe hit like it really helps out the channel we just hit 140 subscribers i mean not really but we have for a day and so yeah it's gonna be a great ride to 150 but anyways till next time we'll check out see ya